I love you. Hope you go. My name is Grady. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. <laughs>
say you have to speak things into existence so if i say that girl 25 times i think i'm gonna become closer to becoming her so yeah i need to show you the last that girl set ah baby <laughs> i'm sorry about how stunning i feel like it's coming up quite like turquoisey green it's actually a really beautiful like emerald green and you'll be able to see it better on the model but i'm sorry but she's just absolutely everything and more and i feel like lounge and do puts really nice details in their pieces to make sure everything's super comfortable any bra can look amazing but is it gonna feel amazing for example a detail that they have is you know how sometimes when you wear bras and the back kind of like digs in it just like where the clips are it just feels really uncomfortable well lounge underwear actually have like like extra padding in the back nothing digging in there's no clips dab in your back of course it comes with a matching thong when you're wearing green there's no way you can wear this and not feel like that girl do you know what i mean i feel like in becoming that girl it's like a 360 do you know what i mean we have to get our morning routines together we have to get our evening routines but also underwear guys if you hadn't thought about having stunning underwear i hope this video is gonna make you think hmm maybe i should invest in really beautiful underwear to make me feel amazing and beautiful from the inside out like i said this will be the best time to check out lounge underwear because they have an amazing birthday sale and you guys know with birthdays they only come around once a year so they're not playing games with the sale guys they've got amazing discounts up to 70 percent off yep so if you want to you know become that girl get some stunning underwear that feels amazing but also looks amazing then make sure you check out lounge underwear and of course everything is going to be linked down below so you guys can check out all the pieces for yourselves thank you so much to lounge for answering this video so yeah guys cue the vlog guys, how are we doing today so today is actually my friend vanessa's birthday we're all meeting up and tonight is actually a theme so guys all my friendship group is actually from different places like we've got a diverse group of girls and it's actually cute because some of you guys have actually commented that before in my videos you've been like oh my gosh i love how your friendship group is so diverse and it's actually so beautiful but yeah i'm from so different places so vanessa's theme for her birthday is everyone has to bring a dish from where they're from <laughs> That's what we're doing today. I'm Tanzanian, so I'm gonna make a Tanzanian dish to bring. One of our favorite dishes is pilau rice, and that's what I'm gonna bring to the party, so we gotta make it before we go. Right now, it's uh, half four. I think the party's starting around half seven. So we've got like three hours. Oh, guys, I'm so tired today. I think I'm gonna make a coffee in a little bit, but yeah, let's make this pilau rice. I've never made it before. It's something that I've literally eaten a hundred thousand times, but I've never made it. My mom, my aunties, they're the ones who usually make it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make it for the first time today. So let's see how it goes. I literally bought some pilau seasoning from Amazon because obviously I didn't have any because I have never made it before. So this is my seasoning that came. So yeah, pilau rice seasoning. I read the reviews and it's pretty good. So I hope this one's that good. It's really easy to make. It's kind of like you're making rice, but you just basically chop up a lot of onions, fry the onions, then season the onions, and then you put the rice in and then allow it to cook. So I don't actually think it's gonna be that hard. It's just my first time, so I'm hoping. And sometimes well, you can also add meat if you want into it or potatoes, but Vanessa's actually pescatarian, so I'm not gonna add meat into it. And the potatoes, I'm just gonna make things as easy uh, for myself as possible. So like i need the potatoes but yeah i think it's gonna be a real mismatch of foods because one of my friends is british and um, so she's bringing like an afternoon tea set which is gonna be so cute congrats my sister's also Tanzanian, so she's gonna bring chapati vanessa's caribbean so she's gonna make some caribbean food for us i'll pick some patties havana is from south africa so she's just gonna make some south african donuts guys we like the the food today i don't think it's gonna be very cohesive but i think it's gonna be a great night with the girls so yeah let's get cooking first things first we need to chop up some onions i didn't have any oh yeah i didn't even explain why i have this in my hair i've been putting rollers in my hair because i had like a um a quick weave in but i took that out washed my hair and i've just been enjoying doing my little sleek hairstyles again but um for the fringe i found that when i sleep with a roller the fringe comes out perfect every day so that's what i've been doing so i'm just gonna keep this in until i have to leave for the party and the dress code for tonight as well it's just like casual vibes but i think i might put a little bit of makeup on because so it's, it's her birthday do you know what i mean so let's let's look a little bit special do you know what i mean so yeah first things first let's chop up some onions <laughs>
guys so my rice is now done and it's looking so good and it tastes so good i actually facetimed my mom when i told her i was making it she was really excited so she like she was giving me all the instructions on how to make it and then she's literally been my mom is so cute she's been calling me all day like how's the rice going is it going good let me know keep me updated so when i was making it i facetimed her and she was like oh my gosh it looks perfect and i was like i'm so happy <laughs> so yeah i look disheveled like i've been dragged through a bush so we're just gonna quickly get this face together something super when i say super super quick and lightweight like nothing too crazy we're just chilling with the girls indoors but like i said earlier it's someone's birthday so you want to make an effort you know what i mean can't really pull up like this am i gonna pull up like this <gasps> she'd be like excuse me what's going on <laughs> is this a prank <laughs> So I'm just going to do a quick little something something No, I'm so crazy And then get dressed And then we're going to head to the girls night I'm excited to see my girls Some of the girls are also coming from London Melanie and Larry So it's going to be so nice Little reunion I'm going to just get ready while Gossip Girl's in the background <laughs> time that i've put a roller in in the night and kept it in all day long until i have to go out and guys i see why people do it i literally today guys i was running errands i left my house twice i went to the shop i had the roller in and it was so funny because i actually bumped into a, a friend from secondary school we left secondary school when i was 16 and i'm now 26 so someone that i haven't seen in 10 years i bumped into them today in the shop and I had a roll it in and I was like, oh my gosh, I just ha had my roll it in and that's the first time I've seen this person like in 10 years. It's so funny. But guys, it's totally worth it because can you see the volume? Can you see? <laughs> can you see the bang? Can you see the bang? And I, you guys saw I did nothing to it. I literally took it out of the roller and... <laughs> it's stunning. So yeah, this is my look. Now let's pick an outfit. We're running late. <gasps> It's 7.43 and I we were supposed to arrive at 7. Okay, let's just hurry up and get out. I'm going to be picking an outfit and I'll show you guys my look before we leave. Hey guys, so this is the quick outfit that I threw together. Just this grey maxi dress that I wear all the time. But uh, yeah, tonight it's like a, just a casual chilled vibe. So this is what I'm wearing. And funnily enough, guys, I was actually wearing the sports bra underneath it. And then when I put it on, it was like this. And the sports bra was showing and I was like, oh, should I take it off? But instead I was like, wait, maybe I can make this work. I made it a little off-shoulder vibe and I feel like it's kind of giving and I don't really have time to be moving things around so I'm just gonna go with this and just act like this is what I planned but yeah we're running late so let's get out of here see you guys at the party so we just got to Vanessa's house she's the hostess so she's still you know still getting prepared. things together preparing but you know it's all good <laughs> she's got a little a little doggy, hey, Yuki. Hi, hi, darling. She's literally so sweet. With Emily, so Emily bought cream tea. She's our English representative for tonight. Stunning. I love this little. You're gonna, yeah, it's so cute. Oh, the balloons are so nice as well. I have 29 balloons. Nessa's house is stunning. Oh my gosh, is this a pancake? Is this a pancake maker? so legit you have a crepe maker i only ever see this on, um, on holiday when they make when it's breakfast yeah, time even, and they're I like know you get one for your house. oh wow well really you could Before you came, 
excuse the mess it made It usually doesn't rain in Southern California Much like Arizona My eyes don't shed tears But boy, they bore when I'm thinking about you treats but it's not getting any sorry yuki i'm so sorry sweetie i'm sorry you're not getting any oh no you're getting the little crumbs that are falling this is africa independent television Hello beautiful people, good morning, wow. So today we were, I actually got up bright and early, I got up at 6am and I'm really happy about that because guys last week I was just in my bummy era, I was waking up. I was waking up so late but today we got up at 6 because we got so much to do today so I woke up this morning did a bible study then I got some emails done and now we are getting out the house so you guys might know I actually have a Airbnb business and I do it with my husband now and yeah today we want to like just go and buy some bits to like you know add some vibes to the apartment and we also want to get some new professional pictures done so yeah that is the agenda for this morning so let's go <laughs> Hey guys, we're now in B&M. So we wanted to get some lampshades, but none of these are really giving. None of them are like hitting the spot that we wanted. I really wanted like a gold one, but they just have these kind of vibes. So I don't know if we're gonna get any. I actually do like these as well, but I'm not sure if they're gonna gold the apartment. Yeah. So we've decided to go for these. We're gonna see what kind of vibe they're gonna add. Hopefully it adds a nice little sexy vibe. Hey guys, we've now got to the apartment. So we're now just gonna add the little touches that we bought to kind of spruce up the vibe a little bit. We've just added these two lampshades. I think they add a cute little vibe. Made this little table vibe.
had a bit of a people happy friday how are you guys doing the last time we checked in was earlier in the week i think it was monday or tuesday and we were just revamping the airbnb it went really well guys it looks so good we haven't had the new pictures back yet from the professional woman who took the pictures but yeah so this week guys i installed this weave uh, like a side part you part wig it was basically just a wig and i cut the lace out and made it into a weave but i just literally installed it i didn't style it or anything but tonight guys it's gonna be really fun we're actually going out we've been invited to a restaurant opening so i thought tonight would be the perfect opportunity to actually style this hair make it look cute get all glam and we can just you know be girly and have a cute night together getting dressed up i've also asked my husband if he can film a video with me i think we're gonna try and film a my husband picks my outfit type videos i think it's gonna be so much fun and i'll just insert that into the vlog but yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. But first things first, guys. Right now it's 5:30, and I'm not leaving. We're not leaving until nine o'clock, so I've got a bit of time. But I do want to like film some makeup content for TikTok. I'm a TikTok girl now. But yeah, guys. First things first. Let's do my nails. I'm so sad, guys. The other day I peeled off my gel, and my nails were so long. But in the time of me peeling off my gel, I didn't get a time to do my gel again, and they all broke off, guys. So now they're back to being short. So I want to do just a quick layer of like pink gel just so that you know I can feel a bit cute for tonight so I'm gonna do right now and yeah I've been addicted I've been obsessed with watching Gossip Girl so that's what I'm gonna do right now as I quickly quickly do my nails In another woman that can take your spot, my I did my nails. You can barely see them. They're just like a little baby pink moment. So first things first, we need to do our hair. This is actually the first time that I've done my hair since I installed it. So I'm even actually so excited to see how it's gonna turn out because I literally haven't seen it properly. I haven't seen it looking like it's full potential. Called Grandy Fashion, guys. I don't have a lot of time. I have about an hour to do my hair and and makeup but yeah how are you guys doing hope you guys have been keeping well i actually had a piece of content go viral the other day guys currently it's on seven million seven million views which is so wild it's actually my best performing piece of content that i've ever done in my entire life like in all my careers of being all my careers all my years of being a content creator that is the most viral piece of content that i have seven million views and, and i think it's got like seven hundred thousand likes <laughs> which is just bizarre because i th i feel like guys i feel like sometimes the world of social media is so crazy because like seven hundred when you think of seven hundred thousand people never mind the views okay never mind people never mind the people who've you know just seen the video because you know someone might have you know clicked on it by accident or like saw it for one second and kept scrolling okay fine but it's got seven hundred thousand likes so there's seven hundred thousand people on this planet who saw my face saw what i was saying and then decided yeah i'm gonna double tap this i like what she's saying i like this video so seven hundred thousand people press like on my video so i think it's kind of crazy to think that guys and it also has like almost a thousand comments to be fair i did reply to a lot of people so maybe take out the people the ones that i have replied to which is maybe like a hundred or 200 let's say there's like 700 people who've 
come also comment on this video yeah so guys i was just deep in it and i was just like that is so many people like it's crazy how you can create something and then seven million people can see it i feel like the world of social media is so insane but yeah the video went viral and it's just so crazy because in the moment guys if you don't know what i'm talking about the video that went viral is basically a video of me it was on my husband's birthday i kind of talked about it a bit in the birthday vlog i was saying that we got to london for his birthday and and I, you know, was unpacking my suitcase, like do 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 do, and I saw that my makeup bag was not in the suitcase. And I checked and checked. I was like, surely my makeup bag is in here. Actually, guys, the funny thing is, when I was actually on my way to London, when we were on the train, I said to my husband, I was like, babe, something's telling me that I forgot my makeup bag. I was like, nah. I haven't forgotten it because you know sometimes you get that feeling that you might have forgotten something and then you're like nah I know I packed it so that's literally the feeling that I got when I was on the train and yeah the feeling was correct because when I unpacked that suitcase honey oh my makeup bag was nowhere nowhere to be seen okay so then I was like what am I gonna do like I think one thing about me guys I'm very solutions orientated like I'm the type of person who when something goes wrong my first thought is like okay what we're gonna do to fix it like i don't really care that much about the panicking aspect my thoughts are okay what we're gonna do now this situation has happened what are we doing to fix it so then i thought okay it's a two-day trip it's my husband's birthday i don't want to go without makeup on this trip so what we're gonna do we're gonna go and buy some new makeup so i literally googled the nearest superdrug to me superdrug is like my favorite drugstore makeup shop i googled it there was luckily there was one 10 minutes away so i literally was like okay i'm i'm gonna head out and go buy some makeup my husband was like oh i'll come with you but i was like no this is something that i'm gonna have to do alone and also this happened to me around seven o'clock and our dinner reservation was around nine o'clock so i was like i need to go there buy the makeup come back and be ready in two hours so i feel like i was on some sort of like top secret highly volatile mission and that is literally how i felt guys i literally left the hotel and was like let's go and buy this makeup but as it was happening to me guys i was like this is such a funny thing like let me record it let me just vlog this whole thing so i literally set up the camera and recorded myself like opening my suitcase and finding no makeup bag like i was basically acting i was like open my suitcase and i was like yeah so i recorded that i recorded me going to get the makeup i recorded me like trying out all the makeup in the shop and then i recorded me like literally leaving the shop and going home and also when i got home guys i also recorded the glam that i did that night with all my new makeup and also the fact that i had 15 minutes left to get ready because i'd spent so long buying makeup that i now didn't even have long to get ready for dinner so yeah guys i recorded the whole thing and edited it and then posted it on tiktok and guys it blew it blew all the way up i think it had like a million views in a day i think it got like a million views in like two days and then it's just kept blowing up and blowing up and now it's currently on 7.2 million views and i just think it's so crazy that like such a random thing that happened to me i decided to record it and that of all the content that i've literally worked hard and planned out took my time you know come up with a concept made myself look really pretty out all of those types of contents that i've been doing over the years have never performed as good as this like random crazy also guys this is actually an energy drink <laughs> because i need energy but um yeah i think it's crazy how that is like my most best performing piece of content out of literally everything that i've ever produced and i've literally been a content creator officially since i was 14 years old because i started a blog when i was 14 and now i'm 26 so 12 years 12 years i've been in this game and that is my most best performing piece of content is that not wild is that not crazy <laughs> so sometimes guys i don't know what this teaches but i guess it teaches that i don't know if you're a content creator just be ready to just film anything because you actually don't know what is gonna be the thing that makes you blow up and also guys another crazy thing okay i wouldn't say i've like you know gone blown up on tiktok like but guys my account has grown so much so guys my tiktok account i started it in around november so i was on about 1000 and like 500 followers i need to get my other straightener so guys when i'm straightening like little bits of hair like my leave out i use this but when i'm doing a lot of hair i have to use these because otherwise i'll be here all day and these literally straighten my hair so so quick i've literally never experienced anything like it like wild yeah so before i posted the content guys i was on about 1000 
500 followers and I've been posting content on TikTok since like November but then I posted that video and now I'm on 9,000 followers so because of that video I've literally gained like 7,500 followers which is crazy crazy so yeah guys um that has just made me like inspired to just keep posting more and more on TikTok and I think TikTok is actually like easy to grow obviously it's not easy I'd say it's easier than the other apps like I love I love you guys I love my YouTube girlies I love our community that we have here but I feel like on YouTube it is harder to grow but on YouTube I feel like when you blow you blow but it takes time it really does take time so yeah currently just trying to be consistent on the TikTok app and just keep it going really so that's really what's new with me what's new with you guys <laughs> I wish you guys could talk back to me sometimes sometimes I'm like I wish I could like I could ask you like what's new with you guys and then you actually maybe I should be doing lives because if we did lives then we could actually chat maybe you know one day the more we grow we'll be able to do stuff like that but I do literally I love YouTube my community community so 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 much I feel like the reason why I actually love YouTube so much is genuinely because of the community because I feel like the girlies that are, be in, are in my comments like I see all of you guys I see you guys and you guys just you just keep me going and you just so you're just so sweet like I feel like you guys actually really know me and at the end of the videos I always be like let me know you know put this emoji if you say to the end and I always see those like the last videos we did a strawberry and every time I saw the strawberries I was like my girls my girls like you guys are actually my girls like for real for real like for real for real okay so that is what we're doing it's not like bone straight but it's like i can't come and die do you know what i mean babe i literally need to go soon and i'm supposed to be doing my husband picks my outfit as well i don't even know what to make him choose I might just have to choose random random stuff but yeah what else is new in my life um i feel like i've really just you know i've been developing my relationship with god in all these days and it's just been so great like i feel like i love my church i really really love my church so it's really just been so great just to get more and more connected in my church like, i feel like growing up i was very active in the church i always had a role to play i grew up singing in the praise and worship team at church so i was always there every single sunday dedicated because i had a role to play do you know what i mean and also it was like a family church so it's like if you're not there it's evident that you're not there and people will be like well, where were you but to be fair it wasn't even a thing of where were you i was just there i was there every single sunday like there was no i'm not going to church today like that that didn't even exist in my house House growing up it's so crazy like the concept of not going to church was not a thing like if it's a sunday it's like okay we're going to church like period there's nothing else that we can be doing today so i think i grew up like that and that was cool but then i feel like i kind of got distant from the church that i grew up in like the church that i grew up in it was like a swahili speaking church because i'm tanzanian and we speak swahili but i feel like because obviously like i i can speak swahili like Mambo, poa, nafanya nini leo, mimi sahivu na nafanya nyole yangu, nataka ku, nataka kupendeza. Mimi ajua leo, nataka kupendeza, nataka ku, kufanana kama sui model. <laughs> so yeah, I can chat, do you know what I mean? I can chat in Swahili. I'll put the subtitles so you guys will know what I'm saying, all the non-Swahili speaking girlies. Because I'm so embarrassing. I literally sewed this weave with invisible thread. Can you see it because i didn't have any black thread so i sold it with invisible thread and now you can see it but i can i think it kind of just looks like a gray hair it doesn't look that bad <laughs> oh gosh okay so this is how we're looking right now this is how she's looking i should probably do some edges to be fair i have scissors here so i'm just gonna cut it cut it cut it i need some wax do we have a wax stick let's wax this hair let's make it lay all the way down okay guys this is how it's looking now that it's straightened she's looking kind of cute or whatever i think i'm just gonna like bump the ends a little bit just to give it a little bit of flavor do i bump it inwards or outwards inwards or outwards i'm not sure i'm not too sure i think outwards is the t what were we talking about oh yeah relationship with god so in church i used to sing every sunday child it was all right but like i said in the church they were speaking swahili so i kind of found myself disconnecting a little bit because like i said i can speak it but i can't like do you know what i mean when something as if i was born in Tanzania and stuff 
I don't really think I would class Swahili as my first language anymore because that's not the language that I understand the most. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think right now I could attend like a university in Swahili. Like, I think I would struggle. So in the same way, like, let's say there would be like, you know, the word being preached, I wouldn't really deep it and understand. Like, I would just kind of, my mind would just start to wonder because the language barrier kind of, if you, if you get what I mean. So anyway, I just kind of grew a bit distant from that church. And then I started going to another church and that was cool. But then kind of like lockdown happened and then I just kind of disconnected from that church. My relationship with God, with God over the years, I don't even know how to describe it. I say my relationship with God over the years has been good, um, but it's had seasons where it's been really great. And then other seasons where I've just kind of been a bit distant and just kind of, I don't know, not that on it, I'll say. But then I will say since I started attending my most recent church, I just love it so much. I just love it there so much. I really feel like it's been really helping my relationship with God and I've been getting more and more involved. So I do different things at church, I help out. And yeah, I just feel like from going to a church that I love, it has made me also want to have a better personal relationship with God and, you know, kind of know God for myself. So I've, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess it's been to do with the church, but then I guess it's just been me in general. like. In this season i don't really just want to know god through other people do you know what i mean through other people's perspectives and just through like reading watching sermons and being like oh that's who god is to them or that's how they know god and that's their relationship with god but it's like what's your relationship with god do you know god for yourself and that's what i've been kind of building these past few how, how long has it been this past year i did this past year and it's it's been amazing guys like i can't even lie it's been amazing. I attended a church conference last year in March and I felt like God really spoke to me there. Like I heard from God, which is a wild thing to say, like hearing from God. But I know I heard from God. Do you know what I mean? Like I know I heard from God. And then since then, I've even been doing a Bible study group with my girl. Shout out Lamona. We've been doing a Bible study group. And it's just been incredible. Like every single week we meet up and something incredible happens every single week and it's just we've been building such a great community as well with the girls that attend so yeah i've just been my relationship with god has just been growing and it's been great to be honest just kind of having faith in god and not having faith in myself but just kind of giving it to god and leaving it to god and giving all my anxieties and stresses to god like the peace that i feel can't i can't describe it so yeah guys i think my hair is pretty much done whenever i have hairstyles like this i'm like how do i do my edges like how are we doing this okay so this is how i'm not really sure how i should do the edges guys that's the only thing that i'm stuck on how do we do edges to be fair i think when i've seen people do edges with this they do like a big sweep but does it work when your hair is natural it's like they don't do the edges on this bit but they'll just do like edges like a big dramatic edge <laughs> a big edge does that work does that look good guys i don't actually know I can't lie to you. I don't know. Guys, I really don't know about this big ass edge that I've just done, but I feel like at this point it's too late and I need to move on. Yeah, I think I need to move on now to my makeup. And also, you guys are dying on me, so I'll just see you guys when my makeup is done while I charge you guys. Bye. And she is ready. Is she giving? Hey, you guys face b hair is now done so i just now need to try my outfit i got an outfit from opali so we're gonna try it on and we're gonna hope that it works because yeah i haven't even tried it on yet <laughs> so yeah let's try it on i'm gonna show you guys how it looks my sister is picking us up because she's also coming with us and she's texting me saying she's 10 minutes away and i haven't tried on my outfit so let's try it on so it's this really cute two-piece little skirt and top how freaking adorable i actually think it's stunning okay let's try it on and see how it looks omg guys i'm literally obsessed i don't have a really good tripod right now so i'm gonna like just shove you guys there hopefully you can see me guys how cute is it i'm freaking up okay the back is a zip top. I need to see my husband to zip it. But guys, I'm literally obsessed. And also, I like my hair like this. I feel like I feel like I look like me. Because it's like, it's just my face. Do you know what I mean? But guys, I freaking love, I love this 
set. Okay, so this is definitely what we're wearing tonight. I just need to figure out shoes and bag. Oh, I've actually got these really cool boots. I'm so boots. These are our options. Okay, we can either do court heels, but to be honest, it's winter, it's cold outside. I don't know if I want to have my entire legs out, but let me just quickly try them. Sorry, guys, you can't even see my feet right now. Okay, court heels are actually kind of adorable. I can't even lie. Heels are actually so cute. You guys can't even see the shoes like this. I think they actually look so cute. This is the first option. Court heels. Cute. I actually love this outfit. OMG. I think I look better in it than the model does. <laughs> just joking. I just mean like when I saw it in the model, I didn't think it was gonna look this cute. Okay guys, this is our second option. They have boots. See, I don't like the boots. Like, the boots are okay, but I feel like... Also, I definitely need to wear shorts with this because she's short. She's a short skirt. Yeah, these boots are a no-no. I just don't like them. Like, they're making it look a little bit cheap. So I think it's giving court heels. I think that's what it's giving. I don't know if I look too dressy. I don't think it's too dressy. It's like a two-piece. So bag-wise... So guys, bag-wise, I actually don't know where my black bag is that I want to wear. So, not that. I don't know why I carried that here. Anyway, I have these options. I've got this. But obviously, it's white and it's very daytime. And I've just got this, which I can just put on my shoulder. So, oh, so I'm going to have to just do this. I don't want to wear this bag, though. What about this? could do this, but... I think it's just gonna have to be this bag guys because I don't actually know where my bag is that I wanna wear. So yeah, this is our outfit guys. Let's put on some perfume. We've got this nice booty scent. Make sure it smells good. And I might mix it with this Prada scent which is also so stunning. take you guys with me show you what we get up to but yeah it's actually so cute i love it love her love her life okay guys see you later vlog thank you so much for watching guys it literally means the entire world to me i really appreciate you for watching and if you're still here at the end of the video please make sure you put this emoji in the comments and i know that you're a real one thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next video bye yeah, with no sacrifices, everything was taken. You had to make it, vibe killer.